Hello, and thank you for joining today's presentation and demonstration of Avanad Health Collaborative Care. My name is Joe Skirman, and I am with the Avanad Software and Cloud Services Organization. Avanad Health Collaborative Care enables enhanced consumer access to care through the latest innovations in communication and collaboration software. Leveraging powerful and extensible software provided within the Microsoft Unified Communications and Collaboration suite of products and combining device capabilities provided through the Microsoft Health Vault program, Windows 8 and Connect, consumers are enabled with a secure, remote and mobile health platform. Current AHCC components include a live health chat service enabling consumer access to chat with health professionals, a patient portal through Microsoft SharePoint enabling the capability for patients to review personal data, statistics, and communicate and collaborate with the health community, and then a telemedicine platform for mobile health communication through clinics and home health care. Lastly, we have a health professional unified desktop that enables health professional communication and collaboration powered by Microsoft Link. Before we continue, you must make sure that you understand that the AHCC or Avanade Health Collaborative Care Solution is an accelerator. This is not a finalized product. It is not for commercial sale and organizations working and engaging with Avanade must adhere to FDA and FCC regulations. The AHCC Solution Accelerator is enabled through the Avanad CEDP program or Communications Enabled Business Process Framework program that enables unified communication software to be used for line of business and industry use. What you're about to see is a scenario and a demonstration, the Solution Accelerator itself and its use for telemedicine and health collaborative care. So now Maria has realized that she has an upcoming consultation and leveraging AHCC, Maria can use her home health care Windows 8 application, or she can simply go to a clinic nearby that is enabled with an AHCC kiosk and pod. Here, Maria is actually walking into a clinic and leveraging the AHCC pod to communicate and begin her virtual consult with her physician. She will log into the application using her credentials, verify her membership information, and make sure that she adheres to both HIPAA and FCC device compliance waivers that the system will utilize. And then she will have access to her information via the kiosk application. Here she can see her patient details and patient information. And she can also see the types of devices that are attached to this pod or kiosk that will be performing specific healthcare scans through the system as prescribed or initiated by her physician. She can also see that she's verifying that she has an upcoming appointment that she's going to click to join here very shortly. I'm going to change my presence here to communicate and, and share the view of Dr. Joe Jennings at the same time and show that there are no patients currently in his virtual patient lobby. This is to emulate the same type of experience physically that patients would have when walking into a physician's office. You'll see here shortly that Maria will join her consultation and that she will show up in the digital lobby that Joe is managing. So now Maria can touch on the specific current appointment and she'll now wait until Dr. Joe Jennings admits her digitally into the virtual consultation. You can see now that Maria is now active in the patient lobby and that Dr. Jennings can now admit her to an actual virtual consultation. Once Joe selects Maria, a video, audio, and information sharing diagnostic service will then begin. And at this point, Maria and Joe will now engage in an actual virtual consultation. Here, Dr. Jennings can see the video emulated from the actual kiosk itself. And I'll step in front of the kiosk here just to show an example. And he can see uh, Maria very clearly as he's also reviewing her record information. Now I flip back to Maria's view from the kiosk and you can see that Maria can see Dr. Joe Jennings as well very easily through this consultation. Maria can also expand her video window just by touching on the video expansion window and moving into a full screen mode. In addition to this, you'll see that Joe can now start a specific virtual set of scans to 
really gather a quick snapshot as to Maria's current health status as she is at the pod. So to start a new scan, Dr. Joe Jennings can click on start a new scan and choose one of the scan devices, in this case, a blood pressure monitor. These are the devices that are actually attached to the specific pod or home health care application that Maria is using. Once Dr. Jennings initiates the current scan, Maria from the pod or from her home health care application will receive a notification that she needs to perform the actual scan itself. In this case, we are actually performing a blood pressure test. So in this type of situation, Maria is going to use one of the attached devices, in this case a blood pressure monitor, and follow the instructions to actually complete the exam. So in this case, Maria will start by placing the device across her wrist as suggested. And in addition to that, uh, she will perform the physical activity to take the actual exam and then start the actual scan itself. Once the scan is finished, Maria will then allow the actual monitor to deflate. She can take it off of her wrist if she chooses to do so. And then all she'll need to do is click on the import button to import her live results into the session. When she receives the actual results, she can then send the results directly to the physician. Her physician, Dr. Joe Jennings, will then see these results real time during the scan. Dr. Jennings can also compare these results to previous scans as well. This information is now going to be shared and stored inside of the patient's electronic medical record system. In addition to blood pressure monitor scans, we also have the ability to perform mobility or motility scans. We do so through the Connect device for Windows. In this case, the pod or home health application and device that Maria is using is attached to a specific Connect for Windows device. Now Dr. Jennings can actually start a specific scan using the Connect device for Windows and choose the type of scan that he wants Maria to perform. In this scenario, we'll have Dr. Jennings initiate an arm rotate test for Maria. All Dr. Jennings has to do at this point is click on the test, and the patient, in this case Maria, will receive notification that she will be performing a Connect scan. Now at this time, the Connect scan is going to emulate a exercise that is a best known prototype for the patient on the left side of the screen, and on the right side of the screen will be the actual patient's results. In this case, Maria needs to follow the instructions of the video to perform the actual mobility exam. And when she's finished, or when she starts working on the specific exam, her results will be uploaded real time as she completes the actual exam. When she's finished with the exam, she can click Done, and Finish Test, and the information will be sent directly over to Dr. Jennings as well with the results of the scan. So here, Dr. Jennings has been able to see and hear Maria, research her information, and perform remote scans, all from his Windows 8 enabled Health Professional Unified Desktop through the Avanade Health Collaborative Care platform. Here you have seen a full demonstration of the Avanade Health Collaborative Care Solution Accelerator and its components providing true, secure, remote telemedicine and virtual consultation between health professionals and patients as well as communication and collaboration amongst health professionals. You've also seen a patient portal powered by a digital health community that allows patients to tie all of their results, their tracking, and their healthy living status together to provide a healthy living lifestyle. This has all been powered by the Microsoft Unified Communications Platform, Microsoft Health Fault Program, Microsoft Connect, and Windows Services. Thank you for joining this session and feel free to contact us at CEVP at Avanade.com for more information.